What's up you guys, it's Ness. Happy holidays to everybody. I hope you guys are in the right spirits and mindset to conquer and achieve all your goals this year. Today is January 3rd, which marks the one year anniversary of my mom's death. So I wanted to talk to you guys and share my thoughts with you guys on, you know, just loss, how to deal with it, how to handle it, and just share where I am mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, you know what I'm saying? And I wanted to make this video today particularly to honor my mom, but not only that, just to put something out there that I know will help somebody else that's feeling the same things that I'm feeling, uh, because there's no right way to deal with loss, but I do believe there are better ways to deal with loss. And, um, you know, I just wanted to share with you guys. I literally just came from working out. I'm gonna go clean up and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys. You guys just follow me throughout the day. I figure what better way to uh, pay respects to my mom than to talk about her in an uplifting way and just show you guys how I deal with my loss and uh, my struggles. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. So I'm just gonna start off by saying that this video was not easy to make. Uh, this was a very emotional day for me and uh, you know, I just I just really felt compelled to share with you guys, um, you know, how to deal with loss, you know, something as heavy as this. Um, there's no easy way to deal with it. My mother was my world. She was the reason why I strive to become uh, great at everything that I did, because, um, you know, I just always always felt like we, we didn't have anything. So I just wanted to give her the world. So, you know, in the midst of me trying to give her the world or trying to get something to give to her, um, I missed a, I missed a lot of beats. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't spend as much time as I did as I wanted or I should have with my mom. So um, I figured, you know, just because she's not here in the, in the living realm and in the flesh doesn't mean that I can't still do nice things with her and just do things in her name and in her memory. You know, so uh, this is one way that I've been dealing with uh, the loss of my mom and being that it's only been a year. This is the first year. It's still pretty fresh. And um, I was even saying today that uh, it's just crazy, you know, that my mom's been gone for a year. I haven't heard her voice in a year, but I know for a fact that she's with me. You know, what I mean, I never thought my mother would be gone from my life so soon, but it just goes to show that we all have a time and it's not up to us. God ultimately decides when it's our time to go and when it's time to go, it's time to go. So all we can do is just be obedient and, you know, enjoy what we do have, this life that we do have. You know what I mean? Um, when I saw my mother in the casket, um, you know, when I was putting her to rest, uh, one thing that I that stuck out in my mind was her body was still here. Like that was my mom. But um, her, mind, her mind was gone. And I know wherever she went she's still looking down at me you know so i just really had to uh share this with you guys because uh it's not easy and i didn't just want to make this video you know i can like nothing bothers me but i, I definitely did want to share you know because uh we're human at the end of the day and you have to appreciate everybody while they're here because once they're gone that's it so you know, while people are in the flesh, appreciate them, love them, and let them know. I'm, I'm, I'm at peace knowing that I let my mother know every step of the way how much I loved her and I cared for her. And I tried my hardest. And um, the last phone call that we had together, she said, uh, thank you, Malcolm. Thank you so much for trying. Even though she's gone, I'm still not done trying. And I feel like ultimately that is how... Uh, that is how you remember somebody. That is how you honor somebody. Just because they're not here doesn't mean that you don't continue to try to change, evolve, and grow. You, you, you stay on that path because you don't only owe it to them, but you owe it to yourself. Trust and believe me when I tell you I didn't expect to be crying when I made this video, but I don't want to. I want to make this video as raw as possible, and I want to make it as real as possible, you know, where it may feel so dark and dank there's you know light because that person is no longer suffering um on the contrary we're the ones that are suffering you know what i mean they're in a better place they're they're off somewhere wherever they are and um they're looking down on us and it's not up to us to keep mourning and grieving constantly you know shed your tears where you may but you still have to pick up and carry on and continue to do what you you know set forth to, to do whether it's for them for you you just have to continue you know uh the game's not over till it's over so you know um 
I definitely had to share some of these thoughts and feelings because at the end of the day, we're human. I know I keep saying that, but we are completely human. And uh, this is just how I deal with my my pain. You know, I, I create behind it. I, I turn it into something beautiful. And I encourage you guys to do the same. Whenever you're feeling down, try to turn it into something worth something. Don't just allow yourself to be in a slump and feel as though like everything's lost and you don't have anything, you know, because my mother was my world. She was my reason. And when you lose your reason, you have to refine your reason. You have to re evaluate yourself you know and the army used to say take a knee you have to take a knee and you have to figure out what it is that you're going for you know because it's very easy to tap out but it's hard to keep going my dad used to say to me all the time only the fittest of the fit shall survive and it has nothing to do with muscles and strength it has everything to do with your heart your mind and your soul these are some of my words to you guys and i hope you take heed and i hope you uh you know see me for who i am and what i am and see you know what i'm rocking with with that being said thank you guys for watching this video is dedicated to my mom and uh more peace and blessings to everybody happy new years and continue to keep hitting your goals i love you mom and thank you for blessing and protecting me